Hey, you. I'm sorry, Ami. Was I... Was I not welcome here? Honestly, yes. You're an eyesore. Why would you say something like that? Just because Tsubaki's in a wheelchair? Wheelchair? What are you even saying? I'm just genuinely despising Tsubaki. The wheelchair has nothing to do with it. What are you saying? Can't you see we're eating right now? Just leave us alone. Oh, Tsubaki. What are you eating, huh? Some pasta. Why? Looks to me you're not eating enough. You know Tsubaki has a small appetite. Leave her alone. My father has always told me to watch my diet. So, well then, let's see how long that lasts. What do you mean? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm not going to be the one doing something. Come on. <laughs> I'm Sumomo, the justice-serving mad scientist. Mad scientist? Wait, how'd you get in? You're like 10. Don't mind that. Anyway, I'll show you what I can do with my expertise. Watch closely. What are you going to do? Ta-da! <laughs> you absolute devil. You made something straight out of hell. Is that a bag of chips? Add some mayonnaise for the final touch and... Voila! My delicious creation. Here, have some. But... By the way, Tsubaki, did you know? Chips are calorie-free because when you fry them, all the calories evaporate away. And mayonnaise? It also doesn't have any calories since it's white. Therefore, my creation is calorie-free. Finally, my experiment has come to fruition. Huh. Well, in that case... But don't believe her. It's all a big load of crap. Don't eat that. Oh, these are delicious. They're so good, Miss Sumomo. Of course they are! Now go on, eat some more. Thanks. Stop! Tsubaki, please! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Since then, Tsubaki has become addicted to eating mayonnaise-dipped chips and, as a result, has gained some weight. I'll show everyone at school how much she's changed. And then I can finally embarrass Tsubaki. Oh, wait, no. That's too cruel. The plan's a no-go. I guess I'll go to the gym with her, help her lose the weight she gained because of me. Besides, I've actually gained some weight from eating that thing too. I gotta watch my diet closely. Oh, my bad. I didn't see you there. My name is Ami. I plan to one day overthrow Tsubaki from her throne. Overthrow as in, embarrass Tsubaki enough for me to become the most popular girl at our college. Not only was Tsubaki the prom queen at our school, but she's also smart enough to graduate as the valedictorian of our class. So, I'm trying to find ways to put Tsubaki in her place and surpass her in the best, greatest way possible as the best student at our college. By the way, the reason Tsubaki's in a wheelchair is because she got into a bad accident when she was a kid. And some people say the only reason she gets good grades and was selected as prom queen is because everyone feels bad for her. But that's not true at all. And I'll personally beat up anyone who believes that's the case. My eternal rival Tsubaki is a hard worker. And it pisses me off when people who don't understand that try to put her down. The only person allowed to talk crap about Tsubaki is me. That's it. Anyway, what should I do to Tsubaki next? Three days later? All right, I choose you. Who are you? The name's Inuzuka. Who are you? <laughs> this man right here is a member of the Yakuza. What? Yakuza? What's a Yakuza doing here? This is what? Go in, Azuka. Is that a knife? Wait, are you trying to... No! Yep, exactly. I'm gonna cut it in half. Yeah! Stop! Fifteen minutes later? How about that salmon, huh? Oh my, it's amazing! It, yeah, it's great and all that, but... Why'd you have to call the Yakuza out of all people to do this? Hey, I did my part. Where's the photo of my crush that you promised? Here. Wait, Inazuka, what photo are you talking about? What, madam Oh, hey, May. Apparently he wants a picture of you asleep for some reason. Why would you tell her that? I can't lie to May. M may this is not what it seems like. Please don't come any closer. No! This Yakuza has pro level of skills at fishing. He's also into his boss's daughter, so there's that. He's good at getting the job done, I'll give him that. The fish Tsubaki ate, the top-tier salmon, was also something he fished up. 
Anyway, as according to plan, Tsubaki has become addicted to Salmon and gained some weight again. This should show everyone that I'm superior to Tsubaki. But I did gain some weight as well after that. After going to the fish market and whatnot with Tsubaki, so I'll have to do something about that. But I'm planning to go out for sushi with Tsubaki on Thursday, so I'll start trying to lose weight after that. And just like that, I wasn't able to make much progress over the last couple of months in terms of dethroning Tsubaki. But one day, I would be gifted a big opportunity to finally put Tsubaki in her place. Hey, Tsubaki! We should go on a graduation trip together. A graduation trip, huh? Yeah, I'd love to go on one with you. I want to make sure we make some memories that'll last with you. But I'm on a wheelchair, so wouldn't it be better for you if I didn't come? Nonsense, we're friends, aren't we? And we've come so far as a group. Without you, our trip wouldn't be complete. Thanks, that means a lot. I'll be happy to join you. Yay! I'll go as well. Ami, you too? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Please tag along. I'm in the same class too, aren't I? I'd feel so much better about going if you're going as well, Ami. <laughs> this is my chance. If I can take pictures of Tsubaki's embarrassing moments during the trip, I can finally show everyone who Tsubaki really is. Just you wait. But that's not the only reason I wanted to go. The girl that invited Tsubaki Misa was the one who was jealous of Tsubaki for winning prom queen. I'm sure she's up to something sinister. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to dethrone Tsubaki. I won't let Misa get in my way. One week later. Hey guys, I was thinking we could go to Guam for our trip. I think it's the perfect destination. Guam, huh? Why not? All right, Guam it is. <laughs> Little did she know, I had a reason for agreeing to go to Guam. What's Guam famous for? Pancakes. If I feed Tsubaki enough of those delicious pancakes, I could get her all chubby and unattractive. Oh, Guam? Did you prefer to go somewhere else, Tsubaki? I guess traveling overseas could be a little complicated for you. You know, with your legs and all. <laughs> that won't be an issue. I'll stay with her and make sure she gets around so I can tire her out. Thank you, Ami. You're so kind. What? No, I didn't mean it like that at all. Doesn't she realize that I'm trying to demean her? I love you so much, Ami. Stop. That feels so weird. Huh? Did she just click her tongue or am I just imagining things? Oh yeah, before I forget, we haven't found a hotel yet, so Tsubaki, could you find one for us? I'm sure you have a lot of time on your hands since you can't move around as much as us. What? Now what exactly do you mean by that? Wait, were you guys offended by that? If so, my bad. Anyway, take care of the hotel for us, will you? Thanks! Wait, stop right there! It's alright, Ami. I'm used to things like that. Besides, I'm just happy to be invited. I've never been on a trip with my friends and with you with me. I'm so excited. Tsubaki. Fine, I'll help you look for a hotel and I'll find the most luxurious hotel in Guam and shock Tsubaki with my competence. Thanks, Ami. For the 15th time, how does she not realize that I'm trying to demean her? And I can't believe she's thanking me for it. And so I started looking for a hotel, but had a hard time finding one. I wasn't sure which hotel would bring out Tsubaki's lazy and sloppy side. But that's when I caught a call from Tsubaki. I wonder what's up. Hello? Oh, Ami, good news. I think I found the perfect hotel. Really? Yeah, I'll even send you the link right now. Wait, is this even in our price range? Yeah, it is. It's surprisingly affordable. We can stay here for like $80 a night and it comes with dinner. Really? Are you sure it's not like a scam or anything? Of course. I say we go at this hotel. Okay, if you say so. Damn it, I tried to find one before her, but I guess she beat me to it this time. That was impressive, Tsubaki. As always, she's a worthy adversary. I guess I'll have to give her a few surprises in Guam then. I've already looked up the best pancakes in Guam, so that can't be all. I'll prepare a few more surprises for Tsubaki. A few months later... Finally, it's the day of our flight to Guam. Morning, Ami! Good morning. You're late! I thought you weren't gonna show up! Hey, I made it, didn't I? Say, where's Tsubaki? Tsubaki? What are you talking about? Tsubaki, our classmate. I heard her father's driving us to the airport. Oh, 
Oh, that's Tsubaki. She won't be joining us. Wait, what? Well, to tell you the truth, I actually lied to her about when our flight was. I told her this morning that our flight had been delayed for about an hour. Why would you do that? Well, don't you think it's embarrassing to go to Guam with a cripple? Besides, why would we even go with a person like her? I was just playing with her a bit. You ass! What are you so angry about? Come on, cheer up, we're going to Guam! Come on, Ami, let's go! I'm not going. What are you talking about? We're gonna be late for our flight, come on! I'm going to wait for Tsubaki. Are you serious? Whatever. You choose that disabled idiot over us? What a weirdo. I'm not choosing her over you. I just don't want to go on vacation with a crooked fool like you. Besides, I'm only going so I could embarrass Tsubaki. What? Then come with us. That'll embarrass her. I'm not like you. I don't want to cheat her out of a trip like this. I don't want to hurt Tsubaki like you do. You're not making any sense. Forget it. We're leaving without you. Bye. And so Misa left me and boarded the flight. I tried to tell Tsubaki about what had happened, but... What's going on, Ami? Tsubaki! Oh, I get it. You arrived early because you couldn't wait, right? Me too. Um, well... Oh, I'm getting a call. It's from Misa. No, don't answer. Hello? I just got to the airport. Wait, what? You're boarding now? What do you mean? What? No. Tsubaki's smile faded away as she put down her phone in distress. I don't want to be with a cripple, so see ya back home was what she told me. She's right. With me around, it sure must be embarrassing. <laughs> Are you serious? What do you mean? Embarrassing? Absolutely not. You are a good rival and an even better friend. We're meant to be together. But... She's right. You're important to me too, Tsubaki. There is no way you could ever embarrass us. K koharu Wait, what are you doing here? I just came to send Tsubaki off. Oh, whatever. Hey, Tsubaki, why don't we go on a trip with just the three of us? What? But I didn't bring pajamas or anything. Oh, that'll be fine. A leaf should be enough to cover you up. What? No way. I'm only kidding. I have extra change, so I'll lend you some of mine. What are you waiting for? Come on. What about our hotel? And I don't have my passport. Hmm, then let's go to Okinawa, and I'll look for a hotel right now. Wait. I have a friend in Okinawa. I can ask her for hotel recommendations. Oh, she sent me some and I reserved one. I got plane tickets too. But are you sure about this? What do you mean? I mean, going on a trip with me. Oh, are you still going on about that? If you have time to be worried about that, worried about how badly I'm about to embarrass you in our trip. Not on my watch. Come, Tsubaki. Let's go. And so, after a quick change of plans, we were on board a flight to Okinawa. Kohara didn't have to be there, but I guess Tsubaki would let her guard down more if Kohara was around. This was the perfect opportunity to finally put Tsubaki in her place. And so we arrived in Okinawa and we were enjoying our vacation. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Why are you even here? You're not graduating anytime soon. You were the one who invited me. I'm having so much fun. Thank you so much, both of you. Oh, we've only just begun. We'll go to the beach today, and I'll force you to get in the water. The salt lord is gonna get all over you and be sticky and itchy. But in the middle of our conversation, Tsubaki's phone rang. Oh, it's from Misa. Hand me the phone. What? Hello? T Tsubaki, what have you done now? This is Ami speaking. What? Get Tsubaki on the phone! Tsubaki is busy fattening herself up with Sata and Dagis. You can tell me what's going on instead. What are you talking about? Oh, whatever. Just hand the phone to her. What's going on? Well, could we check out, please? Oh, we heard that Miss Tsubaki would be joining you later, but has she not arrived yet? Tsubaki, actually, we left her at the airport because we didn't want to come here with a cripple. <laughs> I had no idea you guys knew who she was. All right, then. For two nights, that'll be $30,000. $30,000? I thought it was an $80 a night hotel. That was a special offer that we gave to Miss Subaki on the basis that she would come here. This hotel is owned by her father's company, so we gave her a special deal. But wait, we don't have that kind of money. I won't wait. There's no reason to wait for you when you insulted Miss Subaki like that. Wait, just let me call Tsubaki. And that's what happened. Oh, Tsubaki finished her plate of sada and doggies. I guess we'll take her to a steakhouse next. Are you even listening to me? Well, I'm busy, so bye. Wait! Apparently Misa and her friends borrowed the 30000 they needed from their parents and paid the hotel. 
But their parents were furious and demanded they pay back every single cent of it. And now they're working their asses off to pay their debts back. Oh, I haven't been to class in so long. I'm so close to graduating, so I've got to enjoy my life as a college student while it lasts. I'm afraid you can't graduate, Misa. What? You haven't turned in your final report. Crap! Better luck next year. No, no! Every single student that went to Guam, including Misa, forgot about their final reports as they were too consumed with paying back their debts. Now they're forced to go back to college for another year, but this time they won't be having as much fun there as they did before. Now they have to pay their tuition for another year as well. And with that comes more hours on the job. And with that comes more reports and credits. In the end, Misa ended up going to school for another three years, and the rest of them ended up never graduating. Us, on the other hand, I choose you. Hey, Tsubaki. Who is this girl? A secret agent I hired to embarrass Tsubaki. I got a cake for you, Tsubaki. Here. Thanks. The nice lady over there bought it for us. So come, let's eat it together. Mmm, this is amazing. Don't be fooled, Tsubaki. You're trying to lose weight, remember? You know what my friend in kindergarten told me? She said that cake had no calories because the whipped cream cancels it all out, so you don't gain any weight from it. Oh, then if that's the case... Oh my, this is amazing! Huh? Ami, are you not going to have some? This is a plan to have Tsubaki gain weight, so I can't eat it. And I've been gaining weight recently, so... But there aren't any calories. Oh fine, I'll have some too. Well, if it's calorie-free, I guess I'll have some too. And that's how we all gain some weight. Why does this always happen? I try to embarrass Tsubaki and I always end up getting embarrassed along with her. I've got to figure out why this keeps happening or else... I've got to think of another plan in the meantime. Just you wait, Tsubaki. Hey, go fly a kite. You're such an eyesore. Oh, it's you, Amane. I'm busy. Can you go somewhere else? I don't have time for you now. Huh? Don't get too cocky, Inazuka. I'm not. Here, take this lollipop and leave me alone. Hey, stop treating me like a child. But you are. You... Oi! Hey, G! Ay! Keep her company. I'm leaving. Ay! Wait a minute. I'm Amane, a 20-year-old university student. For some reason, I want to pierce that Yakuza member in Inazuka's heart. <laughs> I caught a lollipop from Inazuka. Should I make this my family heirloom? You're really an Inazuka, Mane. <laughs> yup, I've been his number one fan since he helped me when I was little. You could have just told him that you're his fan. I can't. My dad hates Inazuka. Hmm, I guess life is difficult for you too. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, do you think you could get your hands on that thing? Who do you take me for? I'm almighty Mr. Heiji, okay? Here. As promised, the photo of Inazuka's sleeping face. Wow, Heiji, you're the best. You're really an amazing guy. I don't even remember how many times I got yelled at by Mr. Inazuka for taking this photo. He plucked all my body hair except my hair and eyebrows. Oh my god, I didn't know Mr. Inazuka had a wild side. How cool is that? Jeez. Oh, you must have brought that thing too. Of course. Here's a limited edition girl figure. <laughs> You're one fine crook, aren't you? No, no, I'm no match for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really into Mr. Inazuka. He's a member of the Uwasa Yakuza group. My father gets angry whenever I become close to him, so that's why I always have to act like I hate him. In fact, I just want to get along with him. Things will get out of hand if my father gets angry, so I can only ask Heiji to take photos of Mr. Inazuka for me. Heiji and I were classmates in high school. I'm glad to have an old classmate in the Uwasa group. Gosh, Mr. Inazuka's sleeping face is so cute. I'm gonna set this as the wallpaper of my phone. I'm currently studying business management at university. I wanted to join the family business when I finished high school, but my dad said, in this day and age, you'd better finish university. So I had no choice but to go to university. My university life isn't as fun as I thought. Look, isn't that Amane? Yeah, you're right. What do you want? Why are you wearing designer clothes again today? <laughs> oh, that's right. Wow, you're really getting on my nerves. What is it? You want to show off or something? Didn't I tell you not to wear designer clothes to school? Why do I have to take orders from you again? Huh? Isn't it common sense for introverts to listen to extroverts? Yeah. I've never heard of that. That attitude of yours is so annoying. Totally annoying. And you bought these designer pieces with the money your sugar daddy gave you? That's messed up. 
That's not true. I bought them with the money I saved legitimately. None of you have any right whatsoever to judge me. Anyways, I still have things to do. Bye. Oh, hey, wait. How am I supposed to enjoy my university life when there's people like them at school? I can't help but think that I shouldn't have gone to university in the first place. Well, at least business management is fun to study, so I guess that's okay. By the way, I only wear designer clothes to school because... Mr. Inuzuka, I've been waiting for you forever. I'll beat the living shit out of you. Ah, uh, it's you again, Amane. I need to look good in case I bump into Mr. Inuzuka. Oh, how I love those foxy eyes. I wish I could be his bride someday. A Amane! <laughs> You're here too, brat? Oi! Don't you call our young madam brat again. I'll bury you. Inazuka! Yes? Be nice to Amane. Oh, okay, but... No buts! Just be nice to her. Uh, okay. I have things to do today, so I'll let you go. You better be ready. Ready for? See you next time, Amane. If my father didn't tell me to go home earlier today, I could have spent more time with Inazuka. By the way, the little girl I was talking to is Mei, the daughter of the Uwasa group's boss. She's a strong rival. I'm sure she likes Mr. Inazuka too, yet she's always so nice to me. I only called her a brat because I was trying to act tough in front of Mr. Inazuka. I need to message Mei later and apologize. I'm so sorry, Mei. <laughs> now I must hurry up and go home. Oi, Amane! Y yeah Huh? Ye? Shut up! I didn't think Mr. Inazuka would stop me, so I was so caught off guard I said something weird. Why did he stop me? Is this gonna be a confession of love? Wait, I need to prepare myself mentally. What do you want? You dropped your phone. My phone? Yeah. Oh, right. That's why. Did you expect me to thank you? No way! It doesn't matter. Here you go. Oh no! Huh? Why is my sleeping face on your lock screen? No, don't look! My phone got a message when I was about to snatch the phone away from him. My screen lit up and he saw my wallpaper. What's with your lock screen wallpaper? Ah, this is for my mental training. I need to be ready to defeat you at any time. Ugh, why the hell do you hate me so much? Um, well, um, I hate your existence. I never expected you to like me anyway. Inazuka. Ouch! Why did you hit me, young madam? You don't know anything about a girl's heart. I beg your pardon? Apologize to her. What? Am I in the wrong here? Yep, it's all your fault. I'll never talk to you if you don't apologize now. Okay, okay, I'll apologize. I'll do it now. Please don't get mad at me. What are you waiting for? M my bad. Why do I need to apologize for someone who just said she hates me? Uh, shut up! Oi! Hey! What is this? Why was I told to shut up right after I apologized? I did nothing wrong! <sighs> I just told Mr. Inazuka that I hated him, even though I actually like him a lot. It's all because of my dad. You're home, Amane! Don't talk to me. What? Why? Don't talk to me. I hate you, Dad. Come on! Don't say that! What happened? Nothing! <sighs> I can't wait for the day where I can talk to Mr. Inazuka normally. The following day, the two annoying girls came to talk to me at university again. Hey, Amane. You're so full of yourself today, too. <laughs> Those two losers again. What? Losers? What is this? Did you get cockier today? I'm in a bad mood, and I don't have time for you two. Get out of my sight. You're really pissing me off. You're way too cocky for your average looks. Also, why do you always wear long sleeves? Oh yeah, why is that? It's summer, you know. None of your business. What? You must be hiding something. Or are you trying to be cool? You think it's cool to be different from others, don't you? Explain yourself now. <sighs> well, where's she going? Don't ignore us. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I would usually just ignore them, but I'm in a terrible mood today. Mainly because I told Inazuka that I hated him yesterday. Oh well, maybe I should just head home. I'm not in the mood for lectures anyway. As I was leaving campus... Didn't I tell you to wait? I said wait! Why are you following me? We need to know what the hell you're hiding. What do you even need to hide when you're already so ugly? Don't move! Let go of me! They suddenly grabbed me from behind and started pulling my shirt off. Uh, tattoo? What is this? Huh? Why do you have tattoos? Oh my god, you guys are so annoying. I'll tell you then. I'm the daughter of the Yamamaba's group's boss. What? The daughter of a Yakuza boss? Really? 
Uh-huh, that's right. You understand what it means. Don't ever mess with me again. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. We didn't know. Oh, there's something else I wanted to tell you. Please? What is it? I heard you're trying to make quick cash selling your bodies. What? Huh? One of our boys found some students from our university doing prostitution. That's because we were envious of the designer clothes you wear to school every day. That's right! Stop fooling yourself. Find some legitimate way to make money instead of shaming your parents. Easy for you to say. You're from a rich Yakuza family. That's right! I don't ask my father for money. What? In order to get Inazuka to notice me, I work my ass off delivering newspapers early in the morning and working at a convenience store at night. Why? Why are you trying so hard? Don't you have enough money as the daughter of a Yakuza boss? You two don't know anything. It's meaningless for you to attract someone with the money that you were given. I want to be recognized by Mr. Inazuka through my hard work. Who is this Mr. Inazuka? <laughs> He's a member of the Uwasa group. U Uwasa? Don't you mean the gangster group Uwasa? Hoi, Amane! What? Uh, stop looking at me, Inazuka! What happened to your shirt? Here. Uh huh? Put this on. Uh huh? You probably don't want to wear my jacket since you hate me so much. But isn't it inconvenient for a girl to be in her undergarments? So you better put up with it. A girl? Aren't you? I've already sent Heiji to buy clothes for you. Put this on and wait in the washroom. Ah. Uh. What do you mean, ah? Uh. No, no, it's nothing. Okay. Is this Mr. Inazuka? He's so cool. No, Mr. Inazuka is mine. Get lost. Oh, okay. We're leaving. Did you say mine? Huh? Uh, no, it's not important. Mr. Inazuka, I'm back with the clothes. Oh, thanks, Heiji. What's with this maid costume? Ah, <laughs> oops. I must have made a mistake. You moron. How could you mistake a maid costume for normal clothing? <laughs> It's not even cute. Because Heiji brought me something to wear, I had to return Mr. Inazuka's jacket. So sad, I wanted to wear it longer. Anyways, I ended up wearing this maid costume, so I won't let Heiji get away with this. Oh well, just wait till next time, Inazuka. Um, sure. Oh, Inazuka, are you blushing? I'm not. Yes, you are. Mr. Inazuka, would you like to take a picture with her? No, no picture. Oi, Amane! Get closer to him! Huh? Hurry up! AG, you bastard! Well, I guess it's okay that Inazuka doesn't want to get closer to me, but I shall make my nemesis from the Uwasa group even more uncomfortable. Ooh, wait! Say cheese! You bastard! I'm not gonna forgive you for this and the sleeping face photo last time! Oh, shoot! How did you know it was me? <laughs> Young madam said you were taking photos of me when I was sleeping. No! You traitor! Later, Heiji told me Mr. Inazuka seemed to like main costumes without even realizing it. That's why he was flushing at the time. Heiji, good job! That explains why Heiji brought me a maid costume. I'm sorry for beating you up afterwards, Heiji. Plus, now I have a photo with Mr. Inazuka. Thank you, Heiji. I'll never forget you. Hey, don't kill me for some stupid reason! Oh, you're still alive, Heiji. Of course I am! Where'd your body from neck down go? Buried. Oh, please! Good luck! Damn you, Amane! I'll bring you some food, okay? Why don't you just help me? Mr. Inazuka might hate me if I do. He won't! His attitude pisses more people off! Help me now! Mr. Inazuka buried Heiji, but he was nice enough to keep him alive. By the way, the two losers who pulled off my shirt at school now are saying, I want to be as cool as Amani and follow me everywhere. Even though they were annoying, they started earning honest money by delivering newspapers and working at a convenience store like me. Their friends who are also doing risky business started working with us too. I hope they all become honest people. You probably already know about the Uwasa group, which Mr. Inazuka works for, and my father's Yamamba group are rivals too. We don't get along well, like dogs and monkeys. That's why I have to pretend I don't get along well with Mr. Inazuka as well. You never know when the subordinates are watching. My plan is to take over the Uwasa group and recruit him one day. After that, no one will say anything about Mr. Inazuka and me being together. I'm going to do my best and make that happen. I want to hang out with Mr. Inazuka like normal friends and eat creeps together with him. Yo! Uh, Inazuka! Sorry about last time. I didn't know Heiji would buy you a maid costume. I know, how stupid was that? But, um, you know, you looked pretty good in it. What? What did you say? 
Nothing. Forget it. No, no, no. What was that? Uh, say it again. I said you looked good! <laughs> Mr. Nazuka, I just recorded you. What? Now I have something on you. Damn it! Oh, well, it's fine. Here, take it. Uh-huh. To make up for the trouble last time. Is that a creep? You don't like it? I love it. This crepe is really good. Try it. Um, really? What? What? Dear God, my dream of eating crepes with Mr. Nizuka has come true. Wow, this is so unexpected. Plus, he said I look good in a maid costume. I'll listen to that recording every single night from now on. <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood. Well, um, don't mind me. I see. You're cute when you do that. What? What? What's wrong? Um, Mr. Nizuka, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I can't. Oi! Amane! Amane, wake up! She fainted. Hey, you're an Izuka from the Uasa group. What did you do to our young madam? I... I didn't do anything. An Izuka? You're dead meat! Please, calm down. It's an Izuka! Let's run! This way! Thanks a lot, Heiji. Wait! An Izuka! Stop running! Uh, I'm on Cloud 9. I'll never forgive you. What? What are you holding? Shochan, let's go to heaven together, okay? Then, there will be no one getting in our way! S stop Please, no! My name is Sho Hatakeyama. I'm a gym teacher at high school, but my class is the worst. The entire grade is called the Golden Age. The Golden Age of delinquents, all gathered in one grade. <sighs> the Golden Age. First is him, Haruto Suzumori. At first, he seems harmless. Hey, Haruto, why are you sleeping again? Huh? Oh, I'm so full. Wait, is it already time for practice? <laughs> Got it! Ha! Huh? Haruto? No! The desk! Huh? Oh, good morning. Wait, did I do something? You threw a desk while half asleep! Oh, sorry. He's the champion of the Judo National Athletics Meet. He's practically a weapon. The things he always does while half asleep. Well, there's something I've gotten used to. I try to stay at least two meters away from him, basically social distancing myself. Hey, Haruto, quit it already! That's Ayane Harukaze. She's the class president and looks to be very earnest, but... Mr. Hatakayama, you need to tell him off more. You were too kind to him, Mr. Hatakayama. Sorry. Also, has your pot belly grown recently? You need to be wary of your health. Every time she scolds Haruto, I get the heat as well. In fact, I feel like I get scolded whenever I do anything. She's so scary. Good morning. Hey, Inuzuka. Hey, Inuchi. Good morning. I told you not to call me Inuchi. Hey, don't be so mad, Inuchi. Hey, Inazuka-kun. What time do you think it is right now? Come on, get a hold of yourself. You need to go to school on time. You're so annoying. Did you just click your tongue at me? This is Inuzuka. He's frightening. He's super strong. It's rumored that he's already been scouted by the Yakuza. Why is he even at school in the first place? This school is supposed to be a preparatory school. Hey, teacher, hurry up and start class. Himari, since when were you here? What are you talking about? He was already here to begin with. Now hurry! Start class! Do you see the bags under my eyes? I wanted to take this class so badly. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Now hurry! Okay, okay. Huh? Himari, why are you eating lunch right after you just said that? Oh, whoops. I was up all night playing video games. I just got so hungry. Video games? Uh -huh. Whoops. That is Himari. She's either a strategist or an airhead. I can't understand her at all. These four students of mine, they're called the four devas of Uwasa High School. Why do I have to take care of all of them? Actually, I do know the exact reason, which is I'm being harassed by the principal. The principal hates my guts. The reason being, I dumped his daughter. I had once dated the principal's daughter, Misaki. I met her through the principal. I'd fallen in love with her beauty the moment I saw her, and I asked her out and we began dating, but Misaki was super crazy! I learned that after we began to live together. Hey, why are you home so late? Sorry, my bad. I had to handle some complaints from parents at school. But I did tell you I was going to be late via line, right? What? Are the parents more important to you than I am? Huh? No. Of course you're more special to me than the parents, but it's work. I see. You don't care about me at all, do you? 
I didn't say that at all. Forget it. I hate you, Shochan. What? What are you doing? It's all because you don't care enough about me. S stop. Don't stop me. If you don't care enough about me, then I will go to heaven. Just like that, whenever something doesn't please her, she tries to cut herself. Yep, she's a tad bit crazy. But since she's the daughter of the principal, I tried my best to work things out. But one day, I couldn't handle it anymore. I'm home. Hey, Shochan. Yeah? What's up? I saw something today. Huh? What did you see? I saw you walking with another woman today! What? What are you talking about? Weren't you walking with another woman this evening? Oh yeah, because we were at the same place for work today. You were cheating on me, weren't you? Isn't that right? What? No! She's just a co-worker! I don't believe that. What? But that's the truth! Do you want to check my phone? I always check your phone already. You could be deleting things from your phone. What? No, I haven't deleted anything from my phone. Wait, you already checked it? I can't forgive you for this. I can't. W what are you holding? Shochan, let's go to heaven together, okay? There will be no one getting in our way. S stop Please, don't say that. I love you so much. Ah! I was barely able to get out of there. I fled to the police station and they arrested Misaki. I got a lawyer and was able to file a restraining order against her. I decided to leave the school after breaking up with Misaki. Principal, I'm so sorry, but I would like to quit this school. Is that because you broke up with Misaki and you sold her out to the police? Yes. <laughs> Don't think you can quit that easily. Huh? What do you mean? You hurt my daughter's feelings. I'm going to make sure you pay the price forever. What? Please, just let me quit the school. No, I'm going to quit! I'm quite close to a lot of government officials and Yakuza around here. Don't you think you can get away from me? Also, don't your parents live around here as well? Just imagine what I'll do to them if you run away. Damn it! That's why I'm still stuck here, in Uwasa High School. Even if I want to quit, I can't do so. Even if I have a bunch of delinquents in my class. I still love them all as my students. It's not that bad after all. Mr. Hatakeyama! Huh? What is it, Ayane? Please, don't daze off during class! Whoops! Sorry! But are you alright? You seem very worn out lately. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern, though. Mr. Hatakeyama, no big deal. Haruto, you have to stay awake during class as well. Uh, okay. Man, this class is so noisy. What are you talking about, Inazuka-kun? You just got here. Oh, my cup noodle should be done now. Hey, Himari-chan, why are you making cup noodles in class? Ayane, do you want some? No! Okay, everyone, let's get back to class. Himari, I'm confiscating the cup noodles. Huh? No way! I'll give them back to you after school. That's so cruel. Oh, wait. Maybe the noodles will expand and I'll have more. Himari, you? My students are a little noisy, but I love them all. One day, not again, I opened my mailbox to find a bunch of hateful letters from Misaki again. I wonder how long this is going to last. Maybe this will go on forever. I thought of going to the police for advice, but who knows what the principal will do. I got out of my apartment as usual to go to school during gym class. We're practicing for the sports festival right now. Even though my class is full of delinquents, they're actually very athletic. This is promising. Haruto, why are you sleeping while running? Inuchi, help me! Ayane is shouting at me again! Stop calling me that! All right, let's go, everyone. Why are you eating lunch, Himari? I want to eat lunch because it's the sports festival. I'm glad they're athletic, but their teamwork is... Come on, everyone! Do your best! I'll take you all out to barbecue if you win! Really? If you lie, I'll make you swallow nails! Alright, everyone come on! Our high school life is very short! Let's put our hearts into this! <sighs> These kids... It's alright, as long as they put in effort, as I was thinking that. Hey, Mr. Hatakeyama! Hmm? What's up? Pretty woman bound! What? You're single, right, Mr. Hatakeyama? Hey, it's your lucky day! When I looked over, I saw a woman in extravagant clothes on the field. Huh? A person on the field? Is that a stranger? Wait, I can see her face. Coming closer. Oh no, it's Misaki! Misaki was walking towards me with her hands behind her. She drew in closer with a faint smile. Hey, what are you doing here? 
Long time no see, Shochan. Long time no see. I'm in the middle of class right now. Could you leave? And I know you heard from my lawyer, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. You and I are bound by a red string. It doesn't matter that you're in the middle of a class. It does matter! Are you going to prioritize the students over me again? Actually, Shochan, there is a reason why I was away from you all this time. A reason? The reason why you and I were separated? I had thought about it on my own and figured it out. It's because the students are in our way. What? <laughs> <laughs> now, finally, there will be nothing in the way between you and I. Hey, please, drop what you're holding right now. Never. All right, I'll make my first target that student right there. Huh? Me? Goodbye. Ayane! I went to protect Ayane and closed my eyes. I guess this is how I go out. It's not so bad to go out for my students. I guess I lived an okay life. While I had those thoughts in my mind, the pain didn't come at all. I opened my eyes. And before me was Himari, standing to protect me and Ayane. Himari! I have no regrets. Himari! Oh no, Himari tried to protect me and... <laughs> that feels great. Let's keep going. You bastard! Look what you did to Himari! You'll be my next target. Let's go! What? Why are you throwing your shoe? It's just a shoe. Oh! Misaki tried to block the shoe with her knife, and the knife went flying. It's not just a shoe. It's a protective shoe. Now, Haruto! No, no, don't come close. Nice, Inuchi. Let's go! No! Haruto went and threw Misaki to the ground. I'm the daughter of the principal. You won't be able to get away from what you did to me. My father has friends that are very powerful. You guys will not get away with this. H hey, why are you holding a tablet? I looked over at where she was pointing, and Ayane was holding a tablet towards Misaki. I was taking a video. Huh? You are the principal's daughter, right? I didn't want things to go your way, so I wanted to record all of it for evidence. D delete it right now. I won't let you. Huh? Why are you still alive? <laughs> I'm invincible. You had your Lunchables in your shirt, right? Ah, you noticed? Himori! Thank God! Misaki, give up already! Well, now... You have another one? Himori, look out! Mr. Hatakeyama! Hey! Someone bring a clean towel! Mr. Hatakeyama, are you okay? Mr. Hatakeyama! You guys, I'm happy I got to be your teacher. You guys live a full life for me. Mr. Hatakeyama! No! After that, because of the video that Ayane took, Misaki was arrested. The principal tried his best to erase the evidence and the incident, but all that for nothing. Ayane, Himari, and Haruto went public with the incident to fight back. The main reason the incident didn't get erased is said to be due to Inuzuka. It's said that he had connections to the Yakuza and fought back. I wonder how he'll end up in the future. Misaki went to prison. I was a little afraid of what she'll do when she gets out, but after she's let out, She's expected to go to a psych ward to be treated, and then go to a developing country for voluntary work. You may have already figured it out, but this was also due to Inuzuka. Is he really a high school student? Misaki's father, or the principal, was also arrested and cut from the school. All of his money is said to have been used for charity. He was also sent to a developing country, and does voluntary work under the eyes of the Yakuza. I don't need to explain why anymore, huh? Yes. And as you may have guessed, I made it out alive as well. It was mainly because of my potbelly. <sighs> to think that my potbelly would come in handy one day. Also, our class won the sports festival. I had to take them to an expensive barbecue joint. There goes all of my bonus. Wait, I never said I'd bring them to an expensive barbecue. Huh. Well, they went through trouble because of me, so it makes sense. And 15 years have passed since then. And I'm currently having dinner with the little delinquents. Rin, May, look! It's Ponyo! Wow, look at its belly! Do you have a baby? Wow! No, I don't! Hey, Rin! Sumamo, that's rude! But Mr. Hatakeyama, that pot belly is something, and you had that since high school, so... Hey, quit it! My pot belly holds dreams, you know! Inuzuka, 
Is that true? That's amazing. My lady, that is a lie. I, Inuzuka, will have whoever lies to my lady drown in Tokyo Bay. Hey, stop! Inuzuka, when you say it, it doesn't seem like a joke. Hey, why is the boss's daughter here anyway? My lady and I are one and the same. Don't say anything stupid. Inuzuka, I won't be your friend. My lady! <laughs> why are you laughing? Uh, sorry, sorry. But you guys have grown so much. Ayane and Haruto are married with a child. Even Himari is a mother. I'm most surprised that Himari is a mother. She was such an airhead, no chill student. We never speak about that. Please forget everything. Inuzuka, you were frightening on the outside, but nice on the inside. But you seem much nicer now. Is it because of the wonderful lady beside you? Shut up! I'm so happy though. You guys have grown up so much. Are you crying, Mr. Hatakayama? Ren, Mei, let's do the last moment thing. Duh. Huh? What's that? You guys, I'm glad to be your teacher. You guys live a full life for me. You guys! What are you teaching your kids? Sorry. But yeah. It's because you said such a thing, but survived due to your pot belly. We're glad you survived, but... Shut up! It's all good because I'm alive, right? Yes, but we are all glad that you are our teacher. You guys... Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You guys... I love you guys! Me too. Me too. I guess me too. I'm glad I became a teacher. If I wasn't a teacher, I wouldn't have met wonderful people like you. I'm so happy. It's still 6.30 p.m. All right, let's go to another place. We'll go to karaoke. Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Mr. Hatakeyama, let's race to karaoke! If you lose, you pay for us! Huh? Ready? Go! We'll leave you behind, Mr. Takeyama! Oh no! My legs! Daddy, let's go! Hurry! My lady, you should probably go. Okay, Inuzuka. I guess you can leave then. See ya! Uh, my lady! Inuzuka will come with you! Come on, Mr. Hatakeyama! Hurry! Let's go! Yeah! I'm coming! Mr. Inuzuka, wait up! Shut up! Don't follow me! Why would you say that? Because you're annoying! I'm the Yakuza, you know? I love that about you too! What? <laughs> if I leave a banana peel here, then Mr. Inuzuka would slip and get caught by her! Hey, Heiji, don't forget about this later. Huh? How did you catch that? I'll cut off your banana! What? I'll become a girl? Mr. Inuzuka. Damn it. She's still following me. Hey, ma'am. Good luck. You. Whoops. Sorry, sir. Don't run away from me. I'm Yuria, and Mr. Inuzuka is my prince. He's so handsome. The reason why I'm in love with Mr. Inuzuka... That's because Mr. Inuzuka saved me from a dangerous situation. I thought he was my prince in shining armor. Hey, Mrs. May, how do you think I can get Mr. Inuzuka to fall in love with me? I often talk to Mrs. May, the clan's boss's daughter, for advice. How to make Inuzuka fall? Easy. Make a hole for him to drop into. Not like that. It's okay. I'll talk to Heiji about it. <laughs> a bad subordinate waits for directions. But a wise subordinate acts before his directions. Milady, I've already made a hole for Mr. Inazuka right here. That's not what I meant. Good job, Heiji. Oh. What is it, Milady? Huh? Ah! Hey! Oh, Heiji fell. All right, everyone. Please drop concrete into here. All right. No, please, stop! Wait! I can't see anything! It's so dark! Am I really getting buried? Please help me, Mr. Inazuka! Later, Mr. Heiji was buried under concrete. I'm kidding, under mayonnaise. He says some harsh things, but I know deep down he's very kind. So handsome! Was that nice? So, not only do I stalk Mr. Inuzuka around, I actually do office work as well. Hmm... 
I wonder when I could see Mr. Inuzuka next. Hey, ow! Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't see you there because you're so bland. You're so flat-faced and dull, huh? Kaori. This is Kaori. She picks on me often. The reason being, she thinks Mr. Haruto, her crush, is in love with me. But that would never happen. Mr. Haruto is married and is a very devoted husband. His screensaver is his husband and daughter. She's so irritating. What? You're not going to talk back, Mrs. Bland girl? I wouldn't acquire anything from talking to you. Plus, I don't talk to weak people. Weak? What are you talking about? I may look like this, but I used to be a thug, you know? I'm not talking about physical strength. I mean smarts. Smarts? I don't want to talk to weak-minded people. What? I'm angry now. Come to the roof, alright? What are you, a middle school kid? A child wouldn't even say that. Are you looking down on me? No, I'm not. I was nice to make you a middle school kid, you know. Nope, you still irritate me. You definitely need to come to the roof, alright? Oh, look at the time. It's already past 5pm. I have things to do at home. See ya! Hey, wait up! She irritates me so much. I need to hurry over there and get refreshed. Mr. Inuzuka! Huh? Oh hey, Yoria, welcome. Want some chocolates? Yes, yes. Thank you, boss. Mrs. Yuria, could you get the remote over there? No problem, clan boss. Oh yeah, the toilet paper was empty. I'll go buy it for you guys. Thank you as always, Yuria. I want crackers too. <laughs> no problem. Wait, wait. Why is she fitting in so smoothly? This is the clan office. Inuzuka, be quiet. Huh? Read the atmosphere. What? You're still young, huh? Even you, clan boss? Mr. Inazuka, you're still not there yet. You little... Why only me? Alright, I'll be going now. Like that, I often go to the Uwasa clan to see Mr. Inuzuka. I wanted to join the Uwasa clan after graduating high school, but Mr. Inuzuka and the rest of the clan didn't let me. But because of my stalking, they gave me permission to enter their office except Mr. Inuzuka. It's because I'm so tenacious. I've already forgotten why I was so stressed out. What was I angry at again? The next day, when I went to the office early, there was a paper on everyone's desk. On it, it says Yuria and Mr. Haruto are having an affair. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Haruto. Huh? What is this? Wait, huh? Are we having an affair? N no we aren't, right? Okay, good. That's what I thought. I thought the legit playhouse I did with my daughter became a reality. He played playhouse with his daughter in the morning? I'm curious, but... Wait, who could have done this? I may know who did it. Let's first take these off everyone's desk. Yeah, but man, this is made very maliciously. Do you think my daughter Rin would like this? Mr. Haruto! Huh? Stop saying stupid things and let's get to it! D sorry But we couldn't retrieve everything before people got here, and Kaori arrived. Hey, I saw the papers. So you were having an affair with Mr. Haruto? No, I'm not. Hmm. Kaori, this was your doing, right? What? Why would I do this? Well, I hope you learned your lesson. Stay away from Mr. Haruto. Everyone in the department thinks this was your fault. What? Why would they think that? Sorry to interrupt. Mrs. Kauri, could you come to the office? Huh? Is there something wrong? Just come, alright? What? The reason she was called to the office was likely about the papers. I talked to the department boss, and he agreed that it was likely Kaori's fault. And everyone in the department thought it was her fault as well, and didn't believe the paper. Later, the department boss and I talked, and Kaori strongly refused the accusation. But the boss had warned her that if something like this happened again, they would put a large investigation up. 
I hoped that she would be quiet now, but one week later... I heard from the janitors. Heard what? That last week, you and Mr. Haruto were here together very early. And I heard you guys were very close. I told you to stay away from him. Why is a bland girl like you going after my Haruto, huh? That's because of the papers you threw around. Excuses again? He's so annoying. Come behind the gym. I'll punish you. The gym? This office doesn't have a gym. You're such a kid. What? I told you I used to be a thug, right? If you don't quit, I'm gonna kick your ass. Ugh, why don't you do it then? You really said that? You'll regret it. Yeah, yeah. God, she's so annoying. I just need to brush her off. Why do I have to keep up with this again? Three days later, when I was leaving the office... Mr. Inuzuka? <coughs> Are you here to pick me up? No. I was told from my boss that there are street thugs around here I needed to come patrol around. Wait, is that for me? No! I told you before. Our company is in the same building as your company. <laughs> I know you were trying to protect me, right? Ugh, not me. But my boss was. You're blushing. You're so amazing, Mr. Inuzuka. You little. That means I get to see you around here, right? Yay! I wish Heiji would have come here instead. But he's busy with other tasks, damn it. Things weren't so great recently, so I'm happy now. Now I'll get to see Mr. Inuzuka every day. The next day, I went and searched around the office, the building, and the nearby area, but couldn't find Mr. Inuzuka anywhere. Is he using some kind of technique to hide from me? Then I saw Kaori at the stairs. Thank God I found you. Look, Kaori, I can't waste my time on you right now. I was looking for you. What? Come to the park by the office at 7 p.m. What? Let's settle things. See who's worthy for Mr. Hiruto. You're still saying things like that? You're such a child. Stop looking down on me. I'm busy. See ya. And when I tried going down the stairs... Wait! Huh? Oh! <laughs> so funny! Maybe now you'll have a better face! You should thank me! It seems she pushed me down the stairs! I won't let you get away with this! You started it, right? What? Get away with it? The park at 7pm, right? I'll go. Oh, you will! You'll regret this. Luckily, I only had some bruises. Thank god my body was strong. A normal person would have likely had a few broken bones. She's going to get what she deserves. I went to the park near our office at 7pm. At night, there were barely any people here. Oh, you came. That's Yuria. Like you said, she's so bland. Let's get on with this already. Who are those people? These are my friends from when I was a thug. I ordered them to beat you up. Good luck! If you hadn't fought back, this wouldn't have happened to you. When we're done, hand her over to me. Yeah, whatever. I've been absent lately. She'll do. Me next! I'll pass. You're too scared to say anything? <sighs> stupid people have stupid friends, huh? Maybe these thugs are the ones Mr. Inuzuka was talking about. When suddenly... Hey, stop! Mr. Inuzuka, you came to help? What? Well, yeah, why wouldn't I? Really? I love you so much. Hey, you guys, quit it! What? Who are you? Stop acting tough. Let's get him, too. I'm only going to do Yuria, though. <laughs> you guys don't seem like the type to talk. 
what are you saying? You think you can win 4v2? And Yuria is useless. You'll be fighting 1v4. Whatever. I guess I'll do that then. Nothing bad will happen. Mr. Inuzuka, leave this to me. What? Yuria, what are you saying? I want to do it. You? Don't make me laugh. You better not start crying after this. <laughs> Lol, you're so funny. Do you think you can beat all of us? Lol. If we lose, you can do us then. Lol. <laughs> That's hilarious! But we won't lose. Of course. You hear that, Mr. Inuzuka? Yeah, but don't do anything. I'll take care of things. Bad things, remember? Stop talking already! Guys, get them! Alright, let's go! Get ready! I can't wait for the after party! Three minutes later... Ugh... Ow... Help... Why... The three were on the ground. Of course I did it! I told you not to, but be thankful they didn't eat the hospital. Who are you? You've never heard of her? The legendary Viper of the Uwasa City? The Viper of Uwasa City? Who knocked out a hundred thugs? Yep, thank God. I thought Yuria was going to kill them. <sighs> Silly Mr. Inuzuka. I'd stop about halfway there. That's basically death. All right, you're next. Wait, please don't come near me. Please, no. Oh. Looks like she passed away. Passing away just because someone came up to you? How rude. All right, leave everything else up to me. I'll make them think that getting arrested would have been better. These thugs seem like they've been up to no good. Plus, this lady here apparently is a part of it, too. I see. All right. Thank you, Mr. Inuzuka. I'll see you tomorrow at the clan office. You don't need to come! Oh, wait! Are you going to ask me out? I'm going to have Heiji take you home. Stay put. I want you to take me home. I still need to take care of them. Dang it. So, Mr. Heiji brought me home. Dang it, I wanted Mr. Inuzuka to take me home. Stop complaining! I was home trying to watch my favorite idols on YouTube. Mr. Inuzuka forced me to come here! Sorry, sorry. I never asked you. But what happened between you and Mr. Inuzuka? Oh, you're very interested in how we got together? Together? I guess? I'm curious why a person who can knock out a hundred thugs needed help in the first place. That is... It was when I was knocking out a hundred thugs. My friend had been injured and I was furious. You little... You're going to regret this. We said we were sorry. Please stop! If sorry is the only thing we need, then gods wouldn't exist, huh? Get punished in hell. Please stop! Hey, stop! What? You part of them? Hiya! That hurt! He stopped my punch? I'm not a part of them. In fact, they're my enemy. But if you go further, you'll kill them. Leave them to me. I'll deal with them. So stop right there. You stopped me... for me? I love you! Huh? What's your name? Inuzuka. Mr. Inuzuka, let's get married! What?! Like that. Were you bloody just then? Mr. Inuzuka didn't help you, did he? He helped me to not go in the wrong path. He definitely helped me out. I guess so. After the incident, the thugs are being done in a store like they promised. The money they made in the process is all being used for alimony for the crimes they committed. The thugs I've knocked out are working there too. As for Kaori, she was forced to quit work and is working with them. 
She is in charge of cleaning and is forced to watch the thugs in action. Apparently, some people like being watched. She is stressed out after being forced to watch all that happened to her friends. Her salary is being used as alimony for me, though. I'm still going to the clan office afterwards to see Mr. Inuzuka. Mr. Heiji, I'm hungry. I'm hungry as well. Should I make something? You're bad at cooking. Hey, Inuzuka, you cook. I heard you're better than an average chef. M me, sir? I want to try Inuzuka's food. I will make something quickly. I'll make omu rice that you like, my lady. Yeah, Mr. Inuzuka's food. Mr. Inuzuka, I like salty food, please. Please put out a rabbit with ketchup. All right, I'll get ketchup from your head. Bring it here. I, um, uh, ow! Oh! So funny. Mr. Inuzuka wouldn't bat an eye at me. But I'll be a woman that Mr. Inuzuka likes. I'll try even harder.